Hello everyone, as you can see, Pneumatic Back 2010 is now back. Um, I'll do a quick video on this Pneumatic Shampooer. This is the CTT370. Um, this was made back in 2003. It's a very good um, piece of kit. It's practically a George, apart from the bucket's clear. It has no face that says Pneumatic on it. Still has the exact same pump as a George and the same switches as a George would have had back then. Now, I won this off eBay for £26 um, when I went to go pick it up. So, I think that's a good deal. It also came with the uh, water pipe with the um, thing built in, the um, solution tube, um, the poles with the fishtail nozzle and the uh, upholstery washing tool. Um, now, this machine was designed just for wet vacuuming. Um, in fact, it doesn't come with a dry filter, but contains the same motor as a George and a Charles, so you can just throw a dry filter in it anyway and use it. Now, as you can see, I haven't cleaned this machine. Um, it's clean, looking in there. And the motor is rusty as hell. But it works, I think it runs pretty well. The pump doesn't sound like it runs the best, I think it's leaking through somewhere. Um, where that is, I don't actually know yet. Um, I won't show you the pump working now, because it's a bit late. I'll get another video of that working, um, when I, cause I think I'll do it with some carpet cleaning tomorrow anyway, so I'll do it then. Um, so yeah, the motor sounds alright, um, bearings are probably a bit rusty, but, you know, after all that's, it's from 2003, and God knows what the other people used it for. Bit, quite a bit of wear and tear. Um, the usual, the hook's gone, they've snapped that off. And as you can see here, what I've had to do is, because I can't find my super wheel, I've had to put some tape here, because this piece of plastic's actually hanging off. So I've had to just tape that on just to make it look a bit more normal. Um, the side of the unit, as you can see here, it's obviously cracked. And they've um, resealed that back together. Looks like I think they've melted the plastic or they've put something over it and uh, melted that on. And then this, this is all cracked as well, but I don't know what they've used there. Just to sort that out. I will probably replace the bucket um, if need be, but this moment in time, I'm more. It comes with the pre motor. Uh, wet filter. Now there is a hole here, which I've only just noticed. I've used this, that's all I've been doing today is washing carpets and I washed the car out so I use this as well for that. And also I've got the solution chamber which carries the solution um, and then the pump sucks out the water. It's a two bar pump and it forces it back out of the pump here down the solution tube and out the floor nozzle on a trigger release system. Now, um, I don't know how I can prove this is clear because it's a bit dirty. Um, but if you can, you might be able, you might actually be able to see my hand at the bottom. Sorry, it's sticking up water and it's all dirty. But it is clear, it does need an up clean. So, you know, but it's, it's alright, it is actually clear, you just need to give it a good old clean again. It's an, I think it's in decent working order. Um, obviously, the condition is very nice, but I don't really notice this, cause especially when you stand up. You just see the front of the unit, the side of the unit, the back and the side, and you don't actually notice it, so that's alright. Get the filter with a little hole in it for the um, solution chamber or tank, whatever you like to call it. But um, this solution pump tube, you can't actually really get it round to hook onto this little hook here. It's a bit it's a bit too short I think. I think it's meant to be longer. So you can actually get round, but it's it's not. Um but that will actually hold it, but I can't it'd be alright if I was um dry vacuuming, um but I can't even when the unit um, is 
being used just to suck up water. You have to have the solution tube going into the tank, or you take the tank out and you just have it hang it in the dirty water. You can't turn the pump on and do that, but you know. Um, so that's a shame. It's a shame you can't have it held up here while we were actually doing the cleaning. But, you know, you probably could get away with maybe wrapping it around like that or something, but I'm not sure. So as you can see, it doesn't. It kind of doesn't fit very well. It won't seal. So you know, you have to kind of have it the way it's meant to be, and that's having a solution tube in that hole, which also means that the motor has to go on pretty much dead straight the whole time. Now, it's the rest of it is in pretty decent nick. I mean, the top's quite in quite good condition, apart from the way the name is, but that's because the hose, the cable even, gets wrapped around like that. So, that's probably the reason why. So just think about that, that's getting wrapped around like that all the time. And then, obviously, it's got a cable somewhere. So that. Good little machines these new makes. They last quite a while, since 2003, and it's still going pretty well. Um, obviously, it doesn't have the face on it. If you think it should take a face on it, drop a comment below. Um, I will be giving it a good old clean, but um, because as as you can see, it needs doing. So you know. But yeah, both the switches work. Two pump, um, no, two bar pump. Um, fitted as I said before, it's an 1100 watt motor, it still has the carrying handle on the back, black wheels to match the black top, um, both rubber, um, they haven't actually been, by the looks of it, it hasn't been carted around very much, it looks like it's been sat there quite a lot of time. The front ones do still look like new, it doesn't really look like they've been used, I mean, you know, so it must have been for a, a rough time somewhere because I can see there's a scrape here it's quite deep so I don't know how that got a crack in there but it must have been quite serious to do that because um, I've dropped buckets and they never crack but you know, touch wood but that won't happen again um, black in that um, and the hose doesn't actually screw over this it goes straight in like on the George it's pretty much just a George but it's white well clear um, and it says pneumatic on it instead and if you think you should stick a face on it, say comment below um, that's all I have to say really um, yeah. and also when the tank goes in it actually has special slots so you can't have the tank any way you want it has to be complete like that and it actually has spaces for the um, bits of the wheels to go into to hold it, to hold it still and directly in place. Now you could use these with a bag in it, you could uh, slide a HEPA flow in it, stick a dry filter in it and use it for dry vitamin. I mean there's nothing to say you can't do that. Um, I will eventually do that myself because I'm not just going to have it for the wet vacuum because I'll, I'll, it'll, be, it'll be taking up space and I'll end up selling it for that reason. But um, fantastic little machine, um, well worth every penny. And, uh, there you are. Thank you very much for watching.